Alright, what's going on guys? It's Aspire, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to fix the your rendering device has been lost application closing error that some people have been getting when trying to play Overwatch. Um, it's a tricky error because a lot of people don't exactly know what's causing it. It doesn't really give you like any indication as to like what the actual problem is because there are a lot of uh, different things. It could be a hardware issue, a software issue. Um, but anyway, if you guys have been getting the issue and you've uh, tried all the fixes, like you've tried like the TDR reset, um, you've tried reinstalling your graphics drivers or uh, rolling back graphics drivers, and you keep getting the error, then it probably is an issue with your hardware and not your software. And this fix might actually help you. So uh, I would suggest doing these steps to try to at least uh, diagnose the problem and see what's going on. So first things first, um, make sure that your computer can actually run Overwatch. So just Google the Overwatch system requirements, or I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want. But go to this website and uh, look to see that your computer can actually run uh, Overwatch. It's either at these settings or above these settings. And yeah, so that it can actually uh, run it. Um, so once you've done that, go to uh, the Overwatch supported video cards. I'll also leave a link to this in the description. Um, and make sure that your card is at least in the supported video cards, or at least it's not in the unsupported video cards. Um, because if it's not, if it's in the unsupported video cards, then there's really no way for you to run it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so make sure that uh, your video card is also supported. And if those, if you if you checked both of those two things and you still can't get it to run without crashing, um, look up MSI Afterburner on Google. Um, probably leave a link to this in the description, and uh, you'll get to this page. Now MSI Afterburner is just a GPU utility tool. Um, I mean it also works with your CPU, but it's mostly for your GPU, um, where it can overclock games. Now overclocking is basically when it makes your graphics card uh, work at a higher clock speed than its uh, its factory default. And so you'll be able to get like either higher frames or whatnot, but you'll probably get uh, higher temperatures as well. Um, so we want to download this because we're not actually going to be overclocking our card, we're going to be underclocking it. And underclocking is basically just the reverse of what I said, that you're going to be making it uh, run at a uh, slower clock speed so you can get it to run more stably and uh, in addition you'll probably get lower attempts as a result. So go to the MSI Afterburner uh, homepage and go to downloads and click on download Afterburner and you should get uh, the zip file which you can then save and extract with either WinRAR or 7-zip or whatever you want. Um, and once you download it when you open it, um, you should get this. And so basically, um, this is going to be like the, the display of it. You probably, if, if you're downloading it for the first time, you're probably going to have like a much different layout than me because I have a very old uh, copy of Afterburner. But you're going to want to find uh, where it says core clock and memory clock. Um, more specifically core clock because you won't really need to use memory clock. But I'll just set mine to uh, the factory defaults. So you'll see where it says max. You'll see it says 0 and 0. Um, basically what this means is that you're still at the factory default. You're not overclocking. You're not underclocking. Um, so you're basically just at the core clock speed and memory clock speed that your hardware is set to by your manufacturers. So to underclock, basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna decrease the core clock speed by 10 megahertz each time. So let's do 10 megahertz. And then you're gonna want to apply that. And then you're gonna wanna go into Overwatch, uh, try to play. Um, if you keep getting the crashes, then just try again, just decrement it by another 10 so you can go to, to like 20, and then just keep trying. And 
eventually you'll get to a point where you'll be at a, a stable clock speed to where you won't crash and that'll temporarily fix your problem. So basically something that works for me is uh, I have a GT750M and something that I've noticed that's worked is if I decrease my core clock speed by negative 60 megahertz and I decrease my memory clock by negative 400 uh, megahertz. I'm not exactly sure why this works, but uh, it does. And I've been able to play for the past week with no crashes. Um, and I've played for like multiple hours on like the weekend. So I'm pretty sure that this is like, you know, the most stable fix out of all of them. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any troubles, um, leave them down in the description and I can try to help you or punch you in the right direction. But yeah, this is uh, pretty much it. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, and yeah, this is Aspire. Sign out. Peace.